Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. Today I want to talk about cool gadgets that you can get for the hiker in your life that make great stocking stuffers and smaller type gifts if that's what you're looking for. Now I've tried for a wide range here because different people hike in different ways. If any of this gear interests you, using the links in the description below help the channel out quite a bit and I'd appreciate it if you used them. All right, first out of the bag is the cork ball. I have talked about this on previous videos and I'm probably gonna talk about it again. This has been one of the best pieces of gear I've ever purchased. It is super lightweight and it is used to help in recovery after a tough day of hiking. You can take them with you on a long range hiking trip or you can just leave them at home wherever you sit to recover. Rolling these around feels great to work out your muscles and help you recover after a strenuous day on trail. Next out of the bag is the packed ultralight bathroom kit. Yes, this is an entire kit. What this device comes with is a lightweight trowel. Very good one, actually. Very comfortable handle, good for digging. And inside the handle are these little dehydrated wet wipes. You just put a few drops of water on these. They expand into a wet wipe for obvious usage. And then inside that, is a hollow area of the handle that holds these little decomposable pellets that can be used to aid in decomposition if you are leaving that stuff in your cat hole. Now, best practices is to hike your wipes out, but even the poo that you leave in the cat hole can be helped to biodegrade faster with the pellets that this comes with. Overall, this is very lightweight. It's one of my favorite trowels to use on trail, and knowing that I have those wet wipes and pellets gives me a lot more confidence on trail. What else do we have in here? Ah, uh, yes. This is a lantern. This is the Luminade powered lantern. It is a solar rechargeable lantern that expands when you blow it up into a big box, and that serves as a light box to hang from your tent or put at your campsite. You get a great lantern, it is actually rechargeable and it can also recharge your devices using the included USB port. I found this to be a good car camping device, but also if you're backpacking with other people, it can be pretty cool to have a couple of these along with you. All right, this next one is for the ladies. This is the P-Style female urinary device or FUD or FUD. The P-Style is a device that helps the ladies go number one while standing up and without having to squat and expose certain parts of the body. And that's helpful not only for modesty, but also for safety. Many times on hikes, dropping layers to expose half of one's body to go to the bathroom is a dangerous thing to do. I've heard of women not drinking enough water just so they can avoid having to pee on trail. This is something that's gonna help out quite a bit. I have learned a lot shopping for my daughter for gear that she needs on trail. And from my research, the P-Style is definitely one of the most popular devices out there. You can get this with a cool little carry case, just clip it onto a backpack, and you're good to go. Next, I've got the Flex Tail Gear Tiny Pump X. This little thing here, which only weighs 89 grams, is a 1300 milliamp air pump that you can use to fill your sleeping pad at the end of the hiking day. The new one is quite a bit quieter than the old one. What I love about this is that not only is it going to help you fill up your air pad probably faster than it would be with your own breath, but you're going to save all of that energy, which at the end of a hard day is very nice. And it's also going to help mitigate, if not eliminate, any concerns about mold growing inside the sleeping pads after numerous breaths of hot, <laughs> humid air being used to fill sleeping pads. Not only is this little thing good for that, but it can also recharge your devices if you need to. Now there's several different kinds of these. Some also can be hung from the tent and used as a light. So check out the website, the description below, the Flextail Tiny Pumps. All right, next let's talk about hydration. Now I'm a big fan of Gatorade, Element, and these other kinds of drink mixes, but recently I've been checking out Liquid IV. This is something that I heard about from some runner biker friends, and I have really enjoyed these on trail. The idea with Liquid IV is that they help you rehydrate faster than water alone. They taste fantastic. This is the strawberry. You drop one of these in a one liter bottle and you've got a very good tasting drink mix that's gonna help you hydrate faster than water alone. So check out the Liquid IV. This next one is a fairly unusual little device. 
This is not something you're necessarily gonna take on trail, but it is something very useful at home after you get back from a trip. This little device screws onto a standard fuel canister, and then that clicks onto another fuel canister. And between the two of them, you can refill or top off a canister that is getting empty. This makes these somewhat reusable, and it also helps top one off in case you're going on a trip. One thing that's nice about this is that if you like carrying the small canisters on your trip, you can buy the larger ones, which are more economical, and then use this to fill up the small cans for your next trip. All right, next I've got something fairly new on the market from Apex Giant. These are gear hangers. If you've tried to use hangers in your closet to hang your backpack or other gear on, you know that they can sometimes be flimsy or have things in the way that don't really fit. These are perfect. First, they've got really good arms that are not going to slip around. You just hang this up, it goes right in the closet. Sometimes I slip the carry handle over the top just for a little extra safety. But these have made my closet storage much better. They're very strong. They're not gonna warp. They're not gonna fold. They're not gonna drop your pack. You can hang additional stuff off the hangers even after you put a pack on. I even have a couple of packs per hanger. They come in a couple different colors, both black and gray. This is more of a single gear hanger. So if you're looking to get organized, check out the link below for Apex Giant. All right, this next piece of gear is something that I've been checking out recently. This is the Scrubba wash bag. This takes dry bag technology, but reverses it because it is meant to hold water and not keep it out. The idea with the scrub is that on the inside, you actually have this dimpled material that helps you wash clothes inside the bag. You fill it up with water and good biodegradable soap, like the Pika Summit Suds, a biodegradable powdered soap that is lightweight and safe for the environment. Scoop some water in the bag, put your clothes inside, roll it up like a normal dry bag, and now you have a bag full of sudsy water. And because of that dimpled surface, when you rub it back and forth, it actually washes your clothes for you. You can actually see it take place through this clear window. The one that I got is the Tactical Scrubba bag because guys will buy anything called Tactical. But there are a couple different styles at the website. Check them out at the links below. All right, last I gotta talk about an old favorite and this is my Hilltop Packs personalized food bag. I've had this thing for years, I absolutely love it. On the inside, you can get a spoon stash. That's what that black thing is in there. Allows you to keep your spoon inside the food bag so you don't lose it. And this is set up to work well with the kit from Hilltop Packs that includes a carabiner, an Apex Giant dog bone, if you like to do a PCT style hang, some Dyneema cordage in a Dyneema rock bag. This whole kit basically allows you to turn your food bag into a bear hang bag without having to know any fancy knots. I've had this thing for years. It still goes with me on practically every trip I go on. Check out Hilltop Packs at the links below. All right, well, there you go. Those are my top 10 hiking gadgets for 2023. They would make excellent gifts, stocking stuffers, whenever you need a cool little present for the hiker in your life. If this video has helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. I'm Doug, this is Backcountry Pilgrim. Thanks for watching.